you end up did you end up going getting back bumping your head again or did you or, or were you good from that point on man I called a murder ties no man <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I had to... What? And you never let... Once you came out, you never let that monster go. No, I'm gonna I'm walk up too, like, when he... Because you had to be about 19 when you was released, right? 20. You was 20. Yeah, you were right explain, on the head. Explain to me, like, how was it coming... You right getting on the head, out brother. into society with that mentality that you had when you was locked up? No, because I, I'm now I'm out, and I don't know that they shooting that. You gotta remember when I went in, they were fighting. Are you still angry? Yeah, as soon as I got out, like the first month, they shooting at me. Bow, 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 bow. Like, what? But my homeboys going through beef that I inherited, mm -hmm. and I didn't even know they were beefing. They ain't tell me, hey, yo, watch out, buddy. This is what we going through. They ain't even tell me that. And this is still in Miami, because you still went in Miami. back to Miami. Yeah, okay. we walking down the street, and people just started shooting. Bow, 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 bow. Like, man, what y'all niggas got going on? Oh, no, I want such and such. The same dude who I told you. When I saw kill them three people when I was little. Yeah, it, yeah now, that's who you now it's, we done, now it's, how them young niggas say it was up. It was up, but they weren't ready, though. They weren't ready. They was ready because they, they took a lot. They took some niggas down. Did you end up, did you end up going, getting back, bumping your head again? Or did you, or, or were you good from that point on? Man, I called a murder ties and all, man. <laughs> how long after that? <laughs> few years. I mean, after being released, you so you went out for two years. I'm just trying to. I, a few years, you know what I'm saying? And I had called him. I that was bad, bro. I like after I got out, you know what I'm saying? I called two aggravated assaults with firearms. You know what I'm saying? Now I'm on house arrest. How you catch a murder charge on house arrest? Yo, this crazy. You feel me? <laughs> it was like it was like some crazy, and but they they couldn't throw that murder on me right there. You know what I'm saying? Because I was on house arrest, but they accused me of it. They tried to accuse me of it. You know what I'm saying? Somebody got, somebody got, somebody, somebody mama got flipped, man. They wow. tried to throw that on me, man. I'm like, how I did that? I'm on house arrest. Because she was a victim. She was on my case. And they tried to throw that on me. I'm like, man, I was in the house, man. What y'all cracker talking about? You feel me? So. How much time did they give you for that? No, nah, I did uh I did house arrest and they put me on um, probation. Okay. So my you know you know your stuff. Mm -hmm. So my sentence was on five year probation. Five years probation. How my partner right now, shout out to Money Moses, he locked up, he on our co host. He right now he was on four probation, now he's locked up, so we want him to get out. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But he got them kids, man. Y'all gotta let him up out of there, man. Yep, he's trying my, to do the right thing. My sentence been... my sentence on that on that uh, aggravated assault, it was five year paper. Uh, I violated the five year paper with a murder charge. That's when they took me down. They had me in there questioning me. Um, do you know this person? I never saw the nigga a day in my life, officer. And that's when the nigga, like I said, on Lowe's them. I these nigga be faking. That when the nigga Jocelyn husband, the girl Jocelyn from Love and Hip Hop, yeah. That when her husband. Somebody he killed my own boy. I'm like, nigga, what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The gang the gangster. Wow. The gangster, the one who on TV, the, the gangster, the real nigga, the, the one that's real nigga in the street. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, police. The, but with you now changing a whole new leaf on life and trying to help people, how do you uh, how do you deal with the anger? How do you get past, like, when somebody like that do something and you feel like that? You know what I mean? They done you in like that. The, the beauty of what I've gone through, the beauty of that, it gives me the courage to go talk to the streets because I know what they going through. So that's why I say when niggas be saying stuff like rappers this and rappers that, I say, yo, nigga, address the streets because that's where all of the influence come from. All of the influence that's in music, the core, the root of that influence is the streets because the streets influence the rappers. So all of that influence comes from the streets. So we have to change the hood. Shout out to my brother Golden Child in Chicago with the Nation of Islam. When I go to Chicago, the west side of Chicago, we have a truce on the west side of Chicago with the vice lords. Not through our music, though. From our presence being in the streets. Wow. I love you, brother. How y'all put us doing, man? 
Oh, nigga, trying about to kill him. Okay, what you about to kill him for? Man, that nigga owe me, son, nigga owe me that. What? Nigga, here come three hundred. With a three hundred swatch, that here come three hundred, bro. How much, nigga, man, bro? What, what we doing? Y'all think you to play Power Rangers together? Now y'all want to kill each other? That's real. You feel me? So it ain't our music that's changed in the streets. It's our presence changed in the streets. You feel me? Huey, Bobby Seal, Bobby Hutton, whoever. They presence in Oakland changed the streets. Man. It wasn't them, them just talking. They was actually outside. It was their presence, man. So it's easy to for me to do this on the internet. That's easy, bro. That ain't going to... Nah, nigga, what, what you, nigga, what you doing? They want to shake your hand. They want to touch you. Them people want to meet you. So do if you're doing it online, do it. But why, why not go out there one day and be around them and shake their hand and love on them brothers, man? I agree 100%. It's, it's, it's easy. But, it, but a lot of people now don't have the heart to go out there. And you know that. These people just be on the internet. It's safe on the internet. This right is what is safe on the internet. But think about it, this, bro, bro, you I go to the hood, bro. That, bro, like I can, nigga, I can feel your yeah, energy, bro. <laughs> bro. That's why I'm saying, okay, that's that's all I'm saying. So when they be like, you need to do a song with such and such, you need. To, I say, bro, hold up. I say, boy, no, I don't, because that ain't the same kind. I say, no, I I say the common goal is to get niggas to chill. True. That's the common goal, get niggas to chill. That's what we want, get niggas to chill, true indeed. But I don't, I don't, I don't preach when I rap. I teach when I rap. It's a difference. You know what I'm saying? You you preach when you preaching, you inspiring people when you preaching. When you teaching, when you teaching them, you gain them the game. You can only teach somebody who don't know something. But when you preaching, all you're doing is inspiring, making them get lifting their spirits up. That's what preaching does. I said, bro, I teach. If these niggas preaching and I'm teaching, nigga, that record ain't gonna even sound right. Nigga, I'm straight. Let me ask you this. Like you got you, 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 you had to you say you was reading the Bible, you referred to the nation of Islam. When you study at night, or when you study in the morning, or when you're trying to understand how to get to the next level. And you know, in being a better person, period. Whether it be just from looking at the sun, whatever you do, how do you get there? How do you grow when it come down to being a better, a, a better you? Well, you, well, you, well, you good. <laughs> <laughs> no, because when you sit down and people they don't even know how to talk. You feel me? Well, you good. I like, I like you, bro. Uh, <laughs> you too, sister. <laughs> Listen, brother. What is what is deep, bro? That's deep, and. Like, I'm a real selfish dude when it comes to me. You feel me? So, like, every day I eat. I, I'm 100% vegan. I go to the gym every single day. I read. I write. I can't say um that, that I'm... When I pray to the Father, it's not even for me. I don't pray for me. I pray for other people. Because I know how to set myself up for the blessing. You feel what I'm saying? I don't like the things that I have right now in my life, I'm satisfied with. You feel me? I'm not like a um uh uh, uh a materialistic person. You feel mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Like I'm straight. So as far as me growing, it's just me working on myself and not being around around people bro because I love teaching people but I don't like being around people but I love teaching them though you feel me but I don't like being around people because people will hurt you bro you know what I'm saying niggas will break your heart dog you feel me females will play with you people will play with you man people will real life play with you and get mad when you want to knock their ass out you feel me so it's like in order for me to not in order for me to keep growing man I'll be ducked off solo by myself but how do you do you meditate? Do you read? What do you read? I, I read um, books. I just read um, Tavistock Institute okay. on human relations. Okay, we got um, Behold a Pale Horse. Okay, we got we got um, we got the darkness. Uh, we got Illuminati six six six. I I mess with I mess with the Bible, 
the Hebrew Israelites gonna be like, nigga, what? <laughs> I mess with the Bible, but not how the average person does. You feel me? I actually believe the Bible is just the is just the story of the Israelites. I just believe it's a, a history book. Because it's stories. And it's stories from BC or AD. You feel me? So it's like if it's a story from BC or AD, it's a history book. That's all it is. You feel what I'm saying? I don't I don't look at God as I never prayed to God for money. Never. I work for money. Got niggas who don't even believe in God and got more money than niggas who believe in God. You feel me? Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk.